Good morning once again. I'm Belinda Tupopipa, and I'll be um, demonstrating how to uh, store your wig. So um, keeping your wig dirty is like um, keeping your uh, your utensils in the cabinet as dirty. But then it's going to be more dirty if you put it back in the cabinet. So we have to preserve it before um, you wear it the next time. So I'll be teaching three ways to, um, to store your wigs. So the, one of the ways I'll be teaching is um, wig stand, using a wig stand or mannequin. Um, head beauty people call it a mannequin and um, surgery, surgical people call it a styrofoam. Yes. So take your wig and after you when you come back, you can just dry it for a very, uh, just open it and put it there for about like five to ten minutes to just uh, drive away the um, the wetness that um, walk around in the uh, sun. So after the ten to ten minutes, you just brush it off and comb it with your comb a little to make it have a nice look. That's why I'm doing a nice look. Then put it on your mannequin. It, coming it makes it detangle because as you you, um, you walk through the sand, it has been tangled whilst people are using their hands to brush through, or you are using your hands to brush through. So when you comb it, it makes it detangle. Then if you have a hair net, you can put it on. store it in a cabinet. If you have a cabinet which is um, away from dust, that dust doesn't get closer to it, just store it in the cabinet. And another way of storing it is if you don't, somebody might, might think they, they, they don't have place to store a, a mannequin because maybe if you have about 10, 10 uh, wigs that you wear, you have to get mannequin, mannequin, no. I don't have a place to store all that. So it's either you get one and stack about two or three on it or in a different way. So that would be by folding it. So with the long ones like this, you might not be able to uh, put it on a mannequin because if you put it down, it will just be lying down and the straightness will get detangled even if you store it in a proper way. So you just have to comb it as I'm doing. to come in and do it. then you just fold it and put it in so if you have a net then you put it on so with your plastic bag then put it in your plastic bag just tie it. There, plastic bag or a ziplock. Just put it there and put it at wherever you want it to. So you want to store it. So, by just make sure you put it in a place that there won't be something falling on it. And if you don't want to, as you are looking for your five or ten ways, the types you want to wear. If you don't want to be opening, opening to know which one is in, you can just get a a, a marker and just write the kind of way that is in. So you don't need to be going through all the time. And another one that that's the folding type, as if you are in your house. Another one I want to teach is when, when you are traveling, how you want to store it. Because if you are traveling, you just don't want to just fold it and put it in a, a bag or something. And even with this method, if you are traveling, then your things are going to be on it. So you don't want to do that. So as usual, you just you comb it to make it detangled. And as this one is also curly, you don't want to lose the curly part of it. So you just use it because it's even helping to make it intact. 
and I'll put it in the box set. So you have another um, net, then you put it on. If no net, you just put it in the plastic bag. Just label it the kind of weight that is in. Then you put it in a, a plastic container or any container. It might be smaller than that or any size. So as long as it will go into your luggage, as long as it go into your luggage, you just cover it. You put it in your luggage. And so yeah, so that's the three ways in storing quicks. And I want um, to wrap it up. In case when you come and you just leave it up, some might might think definitely there is going to be uh, dust on it. So when you come, as you want to wear it, you just have to take definitely to just get tangled. So as you when you come, just take off the wig. If you have your spray, this you can get it in every beauty shop. Just conditioner or hair spray for that. Just ask. So just spray a little on it, just to make it detangled. Just comb it. Comb it once again. Just comb it once again. Just a little more to make it all nice and freshly looking. Okay. I think that's just put it on with nice. Somebody might think you just got a new way. No, I do so many years with that view. Any question? So, do you. Do you, do you ever just wash them with shampoo or anything? So, it depends. It depends on the time you want to wash it. If you uh, use it for a very long time, like for years, for that one, you. Would like to wash it with shampoo or conditioner, but then if it's been like a few years, you are good to go with the spray and you're done. Yeah.